In today's video, I do a review of Sunloo's new toughness resin for 3D printing miniatures. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you the GGGG for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of November of 2023, we have $100 going towards a crowdfunding campaign, which my Patreon supporters are currently voting upon. Go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page in order to see what other items we're going to be adding to the GGGG list as the month goes along. So I've done a number of reviews about Sunlu resin as they have come out with new resins for 3D printing. And with them, I'm doing quality tests as they have professed being able to capture higher detail more so than the standard resin that they have here. But in the two tests that I have run for their red wax resin, as well as their standard plus version, I have not found really any discernible difference in terms of quality. And in fact, the amount of quality that you can get just from the standard resin, I think is really high. So any amount of difference in terms of the quality of the print, and again, I'm printing at 0.03 millimeter height which is about as much detail as I want. So maybe it's user error on my part that I'm not trying to shoot for even higher resolutions than that, but I'm plenty happy with that amount of detail. And I was a little bit disappointed that the standard plus version actually wasn't stronger or tougher than the normal version. So I was happy to hear when they said they were coming out with a toughness version, something that they profess is going to be stronger and able to flex a little bit more than their standard. So I went ahead and printed out a couple of miniatures to be able to test that theory because right now my go-to resin to use for miniature printing in terms of durability and it won't snap or break when you drop it is to use ABS-like with 10% tenacious, Soriatech tenacious mixed into it because this is really flexible. So this is my go-to resin that I'm using in order to print out all of my miniatures. So if there is a one bottle solution that is better than this one, then you know I really love to have that product. But before we go into the test, uh, the miniatures that you're going to be seeing in today's video is this Barbarian that I have increased up to 150%. This model is from Beast Miniatures. I did a whole video showcasing their Orktober, so you can check that out here. And then this miniature that you're going to see is actually from Creature Caster. And this is Vujasha, which is for their Judgment Eternal Champions game, which is a game that I am getting into. And I'm going to have a future video showcasing that game. Now let's go ahead and do the test and I can show you the results, which I think you might find surprising. All right, so here I have my sample prints and I'm going to primarily be testing the flexibility and the breaking point of this pole arm, this pole axe. I think it's a good representation of things that might break off of your miniatures when you drop them. So again, here on the left, I'm gonna start off with standard resin, then my go-to ABS-like with the 10% mix of Soraya Tech. And then finally, here's the new product, the Sunlu Toughness. And primarily, we wanna compare this with uh, the ABS like with the Soraya Tech since this is my go-to for miniatures. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna just zoom in real quick here and just show you the comparison. So this is the test of just the Sunlu standard and then this is the mix with the ABS like and the Soraya Tech. And um, I'm just gonna show you just the bottom of this so even the regular has flexibility to it. And then this one um, also has flexibility. And we're going to see in a minute it's very similar to the Sunlu Toughness. But I want to show you just how much uh, you can push this. Well, see, I barely pushed it and the top snapped off already. Which I was thinking maybe this bottom part would snap. But yeah, this is super brittle. Just dropping it a little bit, this is a standard, it's just gonna break. And then here is the toughness one instead, so let me bend this one and see at what point it's going to break and at which spot. 
So as you can see, there's quite a bit of give, quite a bit of bend. Okay, there it went. The top broke off there. And then let's see about the bottom. Okay, there it went. Now let's go ahead and compare that to the Sunlu Toughness piece. And again, flexibility, although you know what? Just by feel, the Sunlu Toughness actually is more flexible than the ABS-like and Soriatech Mix. So I'm feeling like this is even more flexible. But let's see where the breaking point is. Okay, there it broke, but it took, uh, it was able to flex more than the ABS-like, which is interesting. So let's try to get this hand, okay. And see how it didn't like snap, but it just sort of, uh, almost a little bit rubbery, it just sort of broke off like that. So, I think actually that the Sunlu Toughness is better than the ABS like with the Soriatech. So again, on the left hand side, I'm not going to break these because I need to use these miniatures, but I just want you to see the amount of flexibility, which is what you want for these thin pieces because when you drop them, you don't want these, these are the most likely pieces to break these things that are sticking out. And here on the right is the Sunlu Toughness and you're seeing quite a bit of flexibility there as well. And let's go ahead and take a look at the print quality between the two. And I do have a little bit of artifacts from pulling off the supports. And as you can see, I, I need to file some of it. I haven't completely pulled off all the supports. But there's a little bit of roughness um, in certain spots. Whereas here, with the Sunlu Toughness, the print is cleaner or at least the spots where I pulled off the supports, it's cleaner and the skin is clearer than here on the left. So in terms of print quality, even though I printed these at the same height and detail and the same settings, I think I like the print quality of the Sunlu Toughness a little bit better. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, Vujasha miniature. Again, on the left is the ABS mix with the Soriatech. And here on the right is the Sunlu Toughness. Here, I don't think you're going to notice as much of a difference. There, there aren't any artifacting that's going on. Uh, look how smooth the skin is on both. So I don't know if with at least this model I'm seeing as big of a difference. Let's go ahead and see how flexible, you know, this piece down here which is super thin, uh, there's quite a bit of flexibility in both models with that piece. Uh, the top part and the whole arm actually, probably the arm would snap. But in both of them, quite a bit of flexibility. Again, I don't want to break these because I need to paint these up and actually use them for gameplay. But I am actually surprised and I actually think that the Sunlu Toughness uh, looks a little bit better in terms of print quality. Although, you know, at the end of the day when you paint these up, it, it's not really going to matter because the paint is going to cover over a lot of these really fine details that you're not really going to be able to tell the difference. But you know, in some ways, the toughness is feels a little bit more flexible than the ABS-like with the Soriatech Tenacious. And I'm wondering, too, there's less consistency, I've noticed, when I have mixed because sometimes the Soriatech will separate from the ABS-like and if I don't remix it in the vat very well, I notice that sometimes the flexibility is affected by that. Whereas because the toughness aren't these two different resins being mixed together, maybe there's more consistency with that one. But, you know, I think I am actually going to go with Sunloose Toughness from now on rather than doing the mix. Especially since it's cheaper to buy the toughness because 
This Sarai attack is super expensive. And as you notice here, I've only bought the 500 milliliter bottle because of how expensive it is. I think it's $60 for a full kilogram. And um, that's just gonna, it's just gonna be cheaper to buy a kilogram of this. Uh, toughness. So I think I'm actually switching from my go-to, which is this, to now recommending for miniatures the Sunlu Toughness, which I think I'm surprised by. I think I was expecting the Sriatec and the ABS mix to be superior. But now that we have a product that you don't have to mix at all or mess with it, nor do you have to buy the expensive Sriatec, I think I'm going to recommend the Sunlu Toughness. But you know, of course, with terrain pieces like this, I printed this with a standard resin. Again, this is going to be cheaper and for, you know, uh, terrain pieces such as this piece for Judgment Eternal Champions. Um, I don't want, I want to get the cheapest resin that I can because uh, even if you drop this, I don't think this is going to break very easily and for the most part it's terrain. So it matters less than I think the miniatures do. So. Still, you know, going to use the standard for objects like this, like terrain. But in terms of miniatures where I do need uh, more flexibility, it's going to be handled more, it uh, has smaller parts and might break more, this is my new recommendation. So there you have a pretty short video. I just wanted to show you that actually this is a better resin than this. So I am now going to switch from mixing my own to actually going ahead with the Sunlu Toughness. I think this is a better product overall. You don't have to mess with mixing. So this does receive the Gaming Geek stamp of approval and recommendation as I am now personally gonna be using this for all of my miniatures. Hit the like button and subscribe. Again, I'm gonna be coming out with future videos not only regarding the materials that I use in order to 3D print, but also game reviews like Judgment Eternal Champions. Happy printing, happy gaming. We'll see you next time.